Hello viewers, welcome to this three-part video series on how to create a centralized user management using Kerberos, OpenLDAP and NFS. So this is gonna be a three-part video series. This video I will show you how to configure the Kerberos server. The second video will configure the OpenLDAP and the third video we will see how to create and configure the NFS and AutoFS services. So in this case, I'm gonna be using three virtual machines. VM01, VM02 and VM03 and these are the IPs of those virtual machines and I'm going to be configuring the Kerberos, the OpenLDAP and NFS on VM01 and VM02 and VM03 will be the clients of my VM01. So let's get started. Okay, so I have logged into all my virtual machines and on my VM01, I have put this host entries for all the virtual machines so I can ping it by using the host name so as you see I can ping vmo1 and vmo2 using the host names so because I don't have any DNS server I'm using the host entry cool so the first thing is I want to install the Kerberos server package so the command is yum-y install and the package name is krb5 server That's the only package I need for the Kerberos server part. And on my clients, I need two packages, which is krb5 workstation and pam underscore krb5. I will install these packages on both of my clients. Okay, so the package is installed. So let's first configure the server side. So on my VM01, I've installed this package, which is krb5 server. Now I want to make changes in three files. So first file is etc krb5.conf. In here, first I will uncomment all of these lines. And I will change my realm from example.com to home.local and also for the smaller case okay and the next thing I want to do is I want to change this KDC and admin server to VM01 Okay, save and quit. The next file I want to edit is inside var kerberos krb5 kdc and kdc.conf. Change the rel. That's it, save and quit. And the third file is kadm5.acl. change the rel and save and quit so that's all for the changes of the configuration file the next thing we have to do is initialize a database for the kerberos so for that we'll be using a utility called kdb5 underscore util command is create and minus s for stashing the password minus r and we have to pass the realm so that's my realm and it's gonna ask me for a password so I will enter the password okay so that's done now we can start the Kerberos related services let's enable them as well Let's check the status. Okay, so that's up and running. Now I will create some Kerberos principles for uh, the host and some admin principles. So for that, I will be using a utility kadmin.local. Okay, first I have to create a principle for root admin. So I will use add prince command. 
root slash admin and the password we have to give it here okay so that's added the next thing we have to do is we have to add these hosts to Kerberos to do that I will use the same command add prints this time I will be using a random key so that it won't ask me for the password and this is a host principle and the host name is vmo2.home.local and also for vmo3 okay that's added so now if I do list prints so these are my host principles and this is my admin principle okay so now let's create a key tab file so kt add minus k the name of the key is vmo2 dot key tab and take the tree from host vmo2 dot home dot local uh, we will also add another key tab for vmo3 okay that's it quit out of this and if i do ls there you go we have the key tab files now i want to copy these key tabs and the etc krb5.conf to all my clients so let's do that so as if you see as i've installed my uh, krb5 workstation packages on clients so there is this krb5.conf here and if i do a less to that you see this is the same file which we got uh, in this server part so we have to basically replace this file to same as the file we have on server so let's do that scp etc krb5.conf to vmo2 slash i'd say yes And I will also copy to VMO3. Okay, so that's done. So if I do less to krb5.conf, there you go. That's the file we have on the server and on VMO3. Okay, so that's the same file. Cool. Now we have to copy these key tab files to the respective clients. So let's do that. SCP VMO2 to VMO2 slash temp. And I will copy VMO3 key tab to VMO3. Cool. So one more thing I want to do is if I take a look at my host entries here I don't have any host entries so I will also copy the host file to vmo2 and vmo3 as well and if I do cat here to etc hosts there you go. I can ping uh, now VMO1 using the host name. There you go. Cool. So I think that's it for the server side. So we have created the key tab and we have copied that to the clients on slash 10. So now let's go to clients and in here, first I will show you the VMO2. I want to use a utility called key tab util enter now i have to do read key tab from slash temp slash vmo2 dot key tab and write that key tab to slash xc slash krb5 dot key tab and now if i do list there you go we have the key tab wrote quit out of this let's do the same on vmo3 kt util read key tab from slash temp slash vm02 dot key tab sorry it's vmo3 dot key tab and write key tab to slash temp slash krb5 dot key tab okay read key tab and write key tab to slash hc slash krb5 dot key tab 
cool if I do a list there you go so here I have almost more than 16 entries but that does not matter so let's quit out of this cool so that's it for the Kerberos part the next video we will see how to configure the OpenLDAP and there we will create some users so we also have to come here inside this kadmin.local and for that users we have to create some passwords here because the users will be the roaming profiles it won't be a local user instead it will be a roaming user which we can log in from any client cool so that's it for this video see you in my next video take care bye bye